Good morning. It's Wednesday the 10th of June. One of the things I've really enjoyed reading in your comments underneath my videos is how many of you have been moved to dance around your kitchens, either um, tapping away with Jerry Herman or um, doing the samba with Carmen Miranda on Monday. So I'm very happy if you've been moved to move. I've got another dance for you today. It's one that we don't see so often these days. You don't see it on Strictly Come Dancing, though it was a great craze that swept the world and is still going strong in some places. And that's to say the polka. The polka started in Bohemia, that's to say modern day Czech Republic, in the early mid 19th century. And I'm sure you all know it's in two four time and it's three steps and a hop. Oh. That's the rhythm. I remember lots of little baby ballerinas learning to clap for the polka. But um, I looked on Wikipedia and um, they suggest the rhythm of the polka is Well, that sounds like the Radetzky march to me, but um, it's not so far from a march to a polka. I think a polka is just lighter and more flirtatious. I think the flirtatiousness is absolutely key. Um, so I've got a medley of polkas for you this morning. I hope you'll be moved to don your long dresses and finest dancing shoes and we'll, we'll meet up at the end. We've just been introduced, I do not know you well, but when the music started something drew me to your side. So many men and girls are in each other's arms. It made me think we might be similarly occupied. There is nothing so beguiling as a one, two, three, a one, two, three, and a hop. The music sets you buzzing like a bumblebee. Oh dear me, you dance until you drop. Missionaries frown upon the one, two, three. Deacons dither with fear. Grave anxiety wrecks society. When Scandalous, audacious strings, they give a terrible cry. They fear that such flirtatious strings are bound to lead to my, my, my. So when anybody shudders at the one, two, three, we just say fiddle dee dee. Point your toe, off you go. One, two, three, listen, gate, it was great. Back in 1880, when you're old, and Katie did the polka. People say in that day, when she showed her stocking in the polka. By and by, every guy wore a tie with polka dots when he'd sigh. Darling, what's your answer? In her polka dotted gown, she would hate to turn him down. So she'd say, Mr. Brown, you're quite a dancer. But before the dance was through, she would whisper, I love you, while the band played the polka dot polka. Yes, your old Cant Katie was a sassy looking lassie back in 1880 when a blowout was a ball and her heart went wacky for a dapper whipper snapper when he said by cracky, you're the sweetest one of all. to love was her polka dotted glove while the band played the polka dot polka Papa won't you dance with me oh dance with me please dance with me Papa take a chance with me and dance with me tonight and when you whirl me round and round we'll go round up the ground we'll go around and round I love the polka pop. Oh, won't you dance with me? Oh, 
I don't like to dance a bit That's just the heck of it I love the way they dance the polka songs um we had one two three by noel coward from his show um pacific 1860 that's from 1946 then we had the polka dot polka by harry warren and leo robin from that film the gang's all here again so that's 1943 we had um papa won't you dance with me um, from High Button Shoes by Julie Stein and Sammy Khan. That's from 1947. And then, of course, we had Shall We Dance from The King and I, 1951, Rodgers and Hammerstein. Interesting to me that suddenly all those songs are quite are written within a decade of each other, um, mostly in the 1940s. They were obviously looking back 50 years at this earlier dance craze. I guess it's a bit like us looking back on disco now. <laughs> 